Bonjour and welcome to Koi Fish Johnny. Okay, in this episode we're going to be talking about pH. pH, as you know, is hugely, hugely, hugely important to pond keeping. It is absolutely essential, okay? And I think at the beginning you can sort of get a bit confused as to like, you just put nice water in there and the fish will be alright because we drink it, they're fine. Well it's not and I know that for a fact because I finally te tested my tap water and was a gobsmacked. In fact just one second before before I show you that video is to understand the pH. So pH it goes from 0 to 14, neutral is 7. 7 is where I estimated or assumed, should I say, that my water was. My tap water was at 7. I assumed, I don't know why, I just naturally assumed that 7 neutral water for me to drink was fine but it turns out it's not neutral and it ain't great for the fish. If you're a beginner when you start out you really do just think that water is water and it's fine and take the poop out and it'll be okay so but if you if you don't manage your ph you're basically going to kill your fish if you take down the, if if the ph goes down it's like i'm just like i say i i i am a semi beginner at this so my knowledge is what i've acquired so far and i'm going to put it in ways that make sense to me and how has how it has enabled me to understand ph and the significant effects that along with kh because kh and ph go hand in hand kh is carbon hardness okay so back to the ph if the ph goes below six you're basically putting them in an acid bath and killing them the fish so you can see how essential i'm pretty sure that you wouldn't want to be surrounded by acid neither do the fish and you can see sort of when the ph is dropping mine dropped recently for a number of reasons of which i had some awesome people as part of the community comment on the comment section to help me understand one of which was photosynthesis uh, in relation to the covers and i'm going to pop those little comments in at the end because they contributed to my knowledge massively about my wow about why my ph started shooting down so like i said if it drops to six or below six the um the ph of the pond it becomes acidic and but, but it's like what does contribute to the, towards your pond water why doesn't it always stay the same is the question on looking into that it's simply the fish poop if you want to put it in a simple way the fish poop unremoved food contributes to it and basically anything that's decaying within the pond say leaves that have gone down there or things like that anything that's decaying in the pond will have a, an effect on your ph and make it more acidic and bring it down and more dangerous to the fish okay but we have got another player in the game and it's KH. KH is basically like a stabiliser, a protector of the pH, okay? It's like the carbon hardness, it's like the minerals or something in the water, and basically the acid parts of uh, that are trying to lower the pH, the carbon hardness will buffer it and protect the pH from falling. So it, it's, it's a safeguard, the KH, um, in looking after the pH. So I, I think of it like this, uh, rightly or wrongly. I think of it like a game of chess. I think of the ph being the king because if the king goes down you're out of the game so keep your king upright and your kh as the queen <laughs> basically what i'm saying is the queen is the kh and she protects the ph because if the ph goes down it's game over you're done okay so that is the way that i sort of understand this chemical conundrum or chemical crazy way of thinking about uh card keeping so KH is your carbonate hardness and to increase your KH because it's because you got to think them the masses that fish poop and the and the uh, uneaten food and the organic matter and the things that are in there it's constantly constantly attacking the KH the carbonate hardness in the water so inevitably over time your KH will go down it'll just keep coming down and down and down so the best way to replace that is using the sodium sodium bicarbonate with the 5,000 different words it's got baking soda or whatever you want to call it that is the quickest and cheapest way to boost it up a little bit and take it to like eight eight is the ideal thing that when you're using the um the pond lab test kits or whatever they're called to boost the kh back up to eight and that gives it a good level of bufferability, bufferability, um, to protect the pH, okay? So the pH stays a little bit more stable, as long as it's in the right place. Which brings me lovely back round in a loop to my tap water. Because when I'm putting this, and this is something I've thought for a long time, I'm thinking, fresh water, filtered, into the pond, perfect for the fish, not a problem. Wrong you got to look at your tap water, guys. We're having a lot of work done over there near the M6. Uh, if anyone's going down the M6, you'll see all, all the work that's been done it near the Warrington sort of section. Uh, and I think that's having an effect on the water. Not 100%, but something is weird with the water because I'm going to crop this in now, have a look at this, and see what you can think that this water on the video 
is like on the pH scale, which is there. Which colour that you think that that water is, okay? So I'm going to crop that in right now, guys. Okay, so that is gobsmacking. To me, I was gobsmacked when I did that. A lot of you guys have said, check it before I've checked it. I finally got round to checking it and I was like, what the? Acidic, the water is acidic. It's not neutral, it's not at seven. It's definitely, for me, I was looking and thinking it's about six, which is obviously the danger zone for the acidosis, I think it's called. Uh, acidosis, about killing your fish. That's a posh way of saying burning them to death. Uh, <laughs> which you don't want to do so i'm thinking the water that's going in i've obviously had need if i was to fill that again for fresh water i'd need to bring up the ph to make it safe for the fish because i like my ph between seven and a half about about seven and a half eight ish sort of somewhere somewhere along there just above neutral is where i keep my ph or i like it to be which is safer for the fish but putting that water in there and and, and i was i just gobsmacked and i'd love you to comment in the comment section to tell me what your tap water tests in at because my I, that can't be right that can it i might have to do another test but either way what i'm putting in there is acidic it's just above the threshold for the fish uh to be safely in the pond like i was saying uh, so that's the pH, so I'd, I'd have to raise the pH to make it safe for the fish. Now you can, there are signs without testing uh, your pond water, but you always, always, always want to test it. If you are thinking about pond, not done a pond before, everyone always says, test your water, test your parameters, test your thing. As a new pond keeper, I know I didn't test them as much as I should have, or as much as I do now, which is two, one to two times a week I test, Sunday and a midweek go if I can. Uh, obviously with the temp pond temperature being a lot lower now which is at 9.2 so not too bad 9.2 is my pond temperature now which means that the fish are pooing less which means that there's less of a fluctuation in the ph and the kh is also more stable because it's got less resistance against it if you like so it's staying a little bit more stable but needless to say you can't take the fish are still pooing because they are having the wheat germ uh, which isn't there so i don't know why i pointed there but nonetheless they are still pooping and there is still things like leaves from the tree dropping in and maybe the uneaten food not so much because the skimmer gets it and i remove it quite quickly but there is the odd one or two that just bumble around the pond but it is still it's not going as fast down the ph and the kh but it is definitely still trajectory is still down if you don't do nothing about it so you've got to do your pond parameter check so all in all guys that's all i'm going to say is i'll pop the comments in at the end of the video just about what the uh the comments have helped contribute to in fact no i've not even covered it one of the things that i meant to say before was thank you so much for the great comments about the cover going over the top because the cover was depleting the amount of light that got into the pond and i've not done this subject since school and i can remember its name i can't remember or I couldn't remember until I was told much about it, but photosynthesis, the sunlight producing oxygen during the day and carbon dioxide, maybe, at night. But either way, because I was depleting the amount of light that was getting into the pond, it was constantly pushing my pH down because it was just producing carbon dioxide, hopefully, if that's right, right, fingers crossed, but not enough oxygen. So it wasn't balancing the pond's um, oxygen levels, which was causing the pH crash. If you remember in my last video, a couple of, uh, a couple back, a couple of, a few videos back, we had my pH just dropping quite quickly. And that was the contributing factor in the drops. But I am gonna include some amazing comments because I think some of the comments maybe people don't read or don't see, but some of the comments that I got from the people and the community there to help me protect my pond and make my pond keeping better were amazing. So that'll be at the end of the video, which is pretty much now because we've covered it all. KH, PH. So I hope this little video as A, to the experts out there, you can certify it and give it a thumbs up. And B, to the newbies or the people that are relatively new to the hobby of keeping water, which keeps the fish in. Um, I hope this has contributed to your knowledge and I hope that I am getting things right and growing my knowledge. So yeah, bet you've never heard the pH being called the king and the KH being the queen. But I do think that works quite right to sort of drop it into your mind, if you, especially if you play chess, knowing that if the pH goes down, you're out the game. So anyway, this has been Kai Fish Johnny. Please like, please subscribe and hit that notification button. Uh, this has been actually a very pleasurable episode and I'm looking forward to bringing you some amazing videos soon. Take care guys.